this is the aircraft I bought and the name of this aircraft is Annie. Yeah. And uh, so I'm doing a couple of things on this one. Um, we have opened the cowling as you can see the lower cowling the upper cowling uh, has been taken off they're really aerodynamic that's the canopy and uh, this is the aircraft yeah and uh, that's the engine we have opened the engine and i'll be working on a few of the things on this now and uh, let's see uh, i'll show you uh, the minute uh, things which i've been working and uh, I've done some modifications to this so we'll check it out so that is the engine that's a brand new stock engine stock motor it's pretty good it's new as you can see it's it's not worn out it's pretty good this and pistons all right so this is a continental o200 engine and this is the prop extension the prop is yet to be mounted there is the prop and the spinner on this aircraft and I also have another composite uh, the carbon fiber propeller so that will be much much better for this airplane to go uh, a bit faster over here we have uh, four magnetos one two three four one four uh, two 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 for each of the cylinder head and coming down here uh, well I just got to know today that this is called baffling so that was one good thing to know come down here this is the throttle line okay this is the air carburetor uh, the previous owner had their uh, carburetor installed I've got a new one just let me go on to this side the light is much better yeah so this is the carburetor and uh, this is the fuel line which I'll be attaching over here now like this and uh, this is the mixture line and mixture line needs to go like this uh, mixture is uh, you can decide how much of the fuel needs to go in the engines uh, many times if the atmosphere is very warm you don't want so much of fuel and there would be a fuel surge in the engine so you don't want that so you kind of lean on uh, decide the proportion of the fuel which goes to the engines and this is where it goes up this is a brand new engine right here this one is a landing gear this is an aluminium one and uh, these are nice tires pretty good and solid and these are the uh, disc brakes these are very very powerful and very sensitive coming back right here so this is a slab wing casute and uh, right here if you come on to this side it's got a ve very basic instrument we have a airspeed indicator we have altimeter and we have a compass uh, more importantly this is the cylinder head temperature uh, gives you the cylinder uh, what is the temperature on each and every cylinder and that's the oil temperature and oil pressure so as long as everything is in green or not in red it's good to go that's the throttle that's the mixture and uh, joystick I'm yet to put on the uh, communications on this one so probably I'll just put on a handheld uh, communication uh, VHF uh, frequency uh, remote uh, headset sorry what is that mobile system and uh, then I would be good to go and uh, this is the seat I'm yet to fix the seat I'm yet to recline the seat as per my uh, height and leg length so that is that coming back right here uh, this airplane has done competitions in China and all over the world as well the previous owner was uh, George Buddy that's gonna go away and it's going to be Pushkaraj Wag pretty soon and uh, the guy who built this one was uh, Carl Svensson and uh, Jay Jones uh, they died they are no more so this is this sticker is in memory of them and that's the tail wheel the good thing it's got a steerable tail wheel but you can see it's a very small one uh, it's more adapted for aerodynamically to go fast and same thing on the other side okay so uh, for today's work uh, this one was day one at big spring here for me uh, I've set in the seat that is the one uh, that's the uh, 
pilot seat which I've just fixed in with some uh, ties, the basic and then uh, after that uh, let me keep my beer here that's very important as well so as you can see I've put in this one uh, this is the fuel line which goes in there and uh, this was the carburetor carburetor has been just uh, changed then uh, after that uh, uh, this is the mixture line um, okay this is not that visible but um, yeah no so it's not that visible right now but this is the mixture line and uh, this is the throttle this is the throttle line so that's that uh, today's job done today's work done four things carburetor change lines back on and seat belts tomorrow uh, get the cowlings back on and see how it works out hey so this is the hangar life and uh, that's the airport we just kind of lit up and this is the taxiway which goes straight to the airport i'm at the big spring airport and uh, that's my aircraft the front part is kind of uh, dismantled right now that's the cowling the what for uh, top portion of the cowling that's the bottom portion and uh, that's the canopy uh, it's been kind of dismantled uh, in the morning we'll be fixing putting on a prop and uh, some work has been done some of it has to be done and just calling it a night uh, having a beer you can chill and in the night i'll be just sleeping here there are a couple of rooms uh, so which are not bad so enjoying the hangar cheers